that again. Good morning and welcome to the Contracts Committee of the New York City Council. Today is October 26, 2017. My name is Helen Rosenthal and I have the privilege of chairing this committee. Today's hearing provides this committee with an opportunity to vote in favor of a critical piece of legislation that closes a loophole which could inadvertently result in a city agency to deny a person a public contracting opportunity based on their inclusion in a protected class. Introduction 1379A, sponsored by Councilmember Richie Torres, would make it unlawful for a city agency to deny a contract based on actual or perceived race, creed, color, national origin, age, gender, disability, sexual orientation, or alienage or citizenship status of the owners of the bidder or proposer. The bill would also enable a bidder or proposal who believes they have been discriminated against by a city agency to protest the agency's determination via rules established by the Procurement Policy Board. I commend Councilmember Tories on his leadership in making sure that there is no place for discrimination of this kind in our city's procurement process. For these reasons, I'm voting in favor of the bill before the committee today, and I urge my fellow committee members to do so as well. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my committee staff, uh, committee counsel Alex Polinoff, policy analyst Casey Addison, financial analyst Andrew Wilbur, and finance unit head John Russell, and I'd like to, um, with that, uh, call for a short uh, Recess. Thank you.
Okay, so the recess has, hang on. So now we're gonna begin the vote. Today is October 26th, 2017. This is the Committee on Contracts voting on intro number 1379A. We'll begin with Chair Rosenthal. Aye. Council Member Constantinidis. Aye. Council Member Johnson. I have to vote? <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Council Member Miller. Aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions, intro 1379-A is passed. I just want to put on the record that it was Council Member Johnson who saved the day for the rest of us. This hearing is closed.